an island surrounded by beer sauce, mushrooms and asparagus. Vegetarian dishes as beautiful as a painting, arranged with artistry. Unusual ingredients including purple carrots. A coral reef made of parmesan. Even the desserts are almost too beautiful to eat. This ball of chocolate hides a secret lemon sorbet with a delicate sweet biscuit. Karl Ivić is the man behind these works of art. His father is Croatian, his mother Austrian. Ivić learned his trade in Switzerland, Germany and Austria. Although he sometimes eats meat, Ivić has become a fan of vegetarian cuisine. It's elegant rather than rustic, made with imagination and featuring choice ingredients such as truffles. Many might call it decadent, but I don't think so, because this is all a gift from nature. Sure, the price may be high, but when we talk about the culinary arts, we should have respect for what nature has to offer. And it gives me great pleasure to be able to cook with these special ingredients. Today the truffles will go into a ratatouille. When it comes to purely vegetarian restaurants, even gourmet eateries often find that premium prices are a hard sell with customers. But the effort and expense involved in vegetarian cuisine can be even higher than traditional meat and fish-based cooking. In Tien, a lunch dish costs 32 euros. In the evening, menus with several courses run between 80 and 120 euros. In Vienna, capital of the Wiener Schnitzel, such vegetarian cuisine is a culinary novelty. Quality and passion make the difference. Convincing our guests was difficult in the beginning, of course, but meanwhile, I think vegetarian cuisine can hold its own alongside schnitzel. In Chinese, Tian means heaven or sky, and food critics agree, Paul Ibich's cooking is heavenly. He's been awarded one star by the Michelin Gourmet Restaurant Guide and three tokes by Gourmet Yule. Vegetarian cuisine is finally coming into its own. Vegetarian cuisine, at least in Austria, has a kind of whole grain image. It's always been seen as sort of alternative. Not really about pleasure, but about healthy eating. What's nice nowadays is that healthy eating has as much status as creativity and flavor, and it's all come together. Paul Ivich spends up to 16 hours a day in his restaurant. That makes his leisure time all the more valuable. Cooking for me is like yoga, but I also do real yoga play tennis with my brother, and soccer with friends. Tian opened in 2011 in the center of Vienna. At first, some guests just ordered a salad and a glass of water. But meanwhile, more and more customers are open to vegetarian experimentation. I'm not a vegetarian. I was skeptical and wondered if it would be filling, but it is. It's amazing what you can do with natural ingredients and vegetables. I didn't expect all these really interesting flavors here today. This kind of haute cuisine is hard to recreate at home. That's why Paul Ivich also compiled some simpler recipes for his cookbook. We should all pay attention to what promotes our well-being. Your food should be your medicine and vice versa. I'd say eating 80% meat or fish-free meals would do us good. Here in Vienna, Paul Ivich has already won over many carnivores to his way of eating.